Ben Shakun may not have minded missing math, Thanks. but he didn't like the idea of any time away from ball hockey. So the timing of another open heart surgery to replace a valve wasn't going over well. There it goes, my hockey season, basically. And we showed you how we were going to put the valve in, right? But fortunately for the Delta team, cardiologists at BC Children's Hospital had just started trying something new for valve replacements, and Ben was the perfect candidate. So two months ago, instead of a full open heart procedure, Ben went to the catheter lab and stayed just one night in hospital. I got to go home uh, 24 hours later. Um, I had my hockey photo taken about... 48 hours later and I was playing outside three days later. So it's just a few millimeters in diameter when it's collapsed onto the balloon wow. and then goes straight into the vein and the leg. Once the new pulmonary valve is maneuvered into place, it's opened up. No incision required. Dr. Kevin Harris has now done a few of these cath procedures in children and the outcomes for patient, family and hospital are hugely improved. Years ago, heart catheterizations were really procedures where we just made diagnoses. Now we're actually able to treat a lot of children and fix their heart problems with interventional procedures. And so there's really been a dramatic change in what we do in, during heart catheterizations. And like Ben, the young patients who benefit the most from this new technology have already gone through so much. This would have been his seventh surgery. This last year, he's realized that he's not a kid anymore. and the consequences could be fatal, and that affected him quite a bit. Nice shot. We never thought, I think, when he was little that we would be here, and here we are. It's just the, anything is kind of possible now. Thanks for keeping me alive. Elaine Young, Global News.